PFLAG is responding to Education Minister Stephen Lecce's comments about student pronouns. Well, yesterday, Lecce says parents should be fully involved if their child wants to change their pronouns at school. It comes after a poll found that 43% believe parents should have to give consent if a child wants to change how they identify. Parents, friends and family of lesbians and gays says the child's rights should matter more. They responded to Lecce's position in a statement that reads in part, any attempt to infringe upon the rights to self-determination and disclosure of LGBTQ2IA plus kids and their identities will be met with fierce opposition by our community and allies. It is a mistake to favor a parent's right to know over a queer kid's right to disclose. Well, that is what these policy changes will do. They pressure queer kids to come out to their parents and caregivers before they are ready. Well, for some, regardless of how small the number, this can be life-changing. It could even be life-threatening. Well, for more on this, uh, we are joined by former education and for, uh, ed, former premier and education minister, Kathleen Wynne. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Kathleen. I'm curious to get your take on this situation. Do you feel that schools should be revealing the information to the parents that if the, if a student wants to identify a, as a different uh, gender. So, Jamie, my concern is that um, this policy could put children at risk. Um, as PFLAG has said, uh, if a child is not ready to tell a parent that he or she is thinking about who he or she is, um, who they are, um, then you could put that child at risk by disclosing that in a form letter to uh, a parent. And, you know, for some kids, school is the safest place in their lives um, because home is not safe, because parents are homophobic or transphobic, and the, the children know that. So I really think that this is a wrong-headed policy, and I, I think it uh, it could put children at risk. I'm very worried about it. Well, the the poll found that the overwhelming majority, almost 80 percent, believe parents should be informed if their child wants to choose a different identity. Uh, but it's the it's the consent issue where it, which is really divisive. Do you think it's unreasonable that parents uh, of someone who's in grade one, two, or three, or or, or older or younger? Um, if they choose to identify, do you feel it's unreasonable for the parents to be notified uh, about that major, this is a, a major decision that could potentially impact the rest of their life? Well, yeah, that's that's true. But, um, but it also could be a child trying something on. It could be, um, you know, it, it could be something that the, the child has just heard. Who knows? It could be a child searching for who they really are. And if that's not okay by the parents and the school discloses that to the parents, then that child could be put at risk. That's my concern, Jamie. And so um, there are lots of things that parents don't know about their children. I was, you know, I was <laughs> thinking about my own life, you know, would I, would I have wanted um, a letter to go home from the school to uh, to say to my parents, you know, your your daughter is really disrupting the class because she's expressing very feminist views and she's being a problem. There are lots of things we do at school. We are this we're discovering who we are, and we need to have that opportunity as human beings. So I I think it's a very dangerous path, and I don't think. I really don't think this is about safety of the kids that these uh, politicians are worried about. I think they are pandering to a particular portion of the population who hasn't really thought through what is going on with these kids, whatever age they are. Well, well, for, for many parents, and I'm sure many doctors and experts, they'll, they'll agree that, you know, most kids who are very, very young haven't reached the age of maturity to decide whether or not they are a different gender. I know you took straight aim at, at the, uh, the education minister earlier today and uh, conservative leader Pierre Polyev and essentially saying that they are, they're either politically pandering on this issue or that they're transphobe and homophobes. Do you think that the education minister and Pierre Polyev are transphobe or homophobic? I don't know, but if they bring in this policy, then they are basically supporting a policy that is transphobic, that is homophobic, and is dangerous to kids. Um, you know, we've been working for 50 years, more than 50 years in this province, to create schools that are safe places for all children. And this would 
roll back the clock and deny the right of children to be who they are at school. And I, you know, I, of course, if a, a parent has a, a child who's, uh, who's young and they're worried about, they're worried about them, then they're going to talk to the school. But that's not what this is about. This is about, um, this is about outing children in a very unsafe way. There are current policies right now within the TDSB that if a child, um, that a school should never disclose a student's gender nonconformity or transgender status uh, to the student's parents without the student's explicit prior consent. Are, are, is that policy not enough? Because I'm just going back to the numbers here that 80 percent surveyed want to feel that they should be informed uh, if their child chooses to change their gender identity or their pronouns. That's an overwhelming number here. Yeah, and, and Jamie, I think there are lots of things that we as parents, and I've been a parent of three kids, uh, one gay son, uh, parent of grandchildren, grand grandparents, so I know that we want to know everything about our children. I understand that. But we don't get to know everything about our children. Even now, there are things about what our children do at school that we don't know about, and that's okay. Obviously, if a school believes that a child is in danger, if they are, if they are being bullied or there's something going on, obviously that needs to be a conversation between the teacher and the family where there's a relationship. It doesn't have to be a disclosure of exactly what the, the child is doing. So I think the relationship is important. Um, do I believe that because 80% of people want, you know, think that this would be a good idea? It may or may not be a good idea. And we have to make sure that we're protecting the children in the school. That's got to be the primary goal, and I don't think that's what Minister Lecce and Pierre Polyeva are worried about. Kathleen Wynn, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us on CB24 Thank Live you. at noon. Thank you.